Hello, good day, all my friends. I'm Oliver. Here we got a three-way dumper truck and with a crane. So this two four axle eight driving chassis. So we also customized one more this clam shell bucket to put on the crane with a quick coupler. So let's see how this one working. So this light, warning light and the headlight, it is together one channel to control because too many functions already all 18 channel used. So headlight with top warning light control together. Switch different mode, drive it. Have two speed gearbox. Let's see the speed. Full ahead. That's a low speed. Shifting gear. That's the high speed. Okay, let's see the crane. Today we mainly see the crane with the clamp shaft, clamp shell bucket. Yeah. So first, for operating, uh, before the crane, the bucket it is three-way damper. So every time you rising, first make sure the three-way lock position. Yeah, it's in one position. Maybe for example, first the rear damping. And during the damping, do not shift in the lock gear. The lock servo, if you shift it, it will unlock one side, it will drop. So only after put down, sit on the lock position, then we shift in the lock servo to damping another side. Yeah, now after sit, we shift in. Yeah, now shifting, we dump it to right side. Also, after put back, we can shift in again, dump it to left side. Sit back. Okay, sitting position, shifting again, now locking rear side, changing locking left side, left, then damping. Okay, that's the damping, then put back, shifting back to rear side lock, we will see the crane. Okay, lock, check. Yeah, okay, sit back. The crane, when we operate in first, rising the big arm. So with this control, this control arm. First rise the big arm, then rising the middle arm. Turn it, turn it to, let's say, to rear side. Or left side. So now, before you reaching out, it's heavy, yeah? So before reaching out, we first put out the leg. But be careful, yeah, after the leg out, first leg out, then we shifting the leg to downside. Uh, one, one thing is, this side have this box, right side also have another box. So if you, let's say we putting the leg down, after putting down, do not sh shifting the arm back because the leg will be pushing on the box, you will damage the leg. Only put the leg up position, then you shrink the arm back. So the leg arm back outside and also the leg towards downside, put it down for support, then we can operate the crane. Turn it, arm out, have a general look, yeah, that's the big arm. So better, not familiar, first move the stick slowly to rising and dropping. Big middle arm, slowly, let's see how is the speed. That's a slow speed, slow rising. Slowly drop, so we will put the clamshell bucket. So you see we already put the quick coupler here for uh, left one channel, right one channel. And this one is quite heavy, it's all metal with turning block. We will see the weight. So this one exactly one kg. So this hook on the arm front, original we put the hook. Now we remove, remove to secure this clamshell bucket. Okay, lock it. So left side one channel, right side one channel. So one channel, this two longer holes, it is 
uh, for the open and the close, yeah, compared to one, connect to one side. This one side for the rotation, okay. So when we operate the crane, the leg on the table, yeah, never drive it. You drive, you push on the leg, you damage the leg, yeah. So uh, let's see rotation. Come out, back, back, open, close. Rotation. Other side. Rise it, reaching out. That's all the arm out. It's quite heavy, yeah, one kg. So if you put like some uh, 100 gram, 200 gram, it's already very heavy. Yeah. So with this small arm all the way out, this bucket one kg, this big arm, you see directly rising, it's rising with power, no problem. Down and rise, no problem. But this middle arm, you see the cylinder have a horizontal angle, so it's not rising directly. So with this angle, not enough power to rise in this bucket directly. Let's see, rising? No, only a little power, keeping. Put down. Rising. Only a little power, rising a little bit. So what to do? We put back the arm. So rising the middle arm a little bit. This one can rise. So the left, we pushing out the front arm and rising and lowering by the big arm. So now we can rising and lowering by this one. No problem, yeah. So let's see if we have cargo here or cargo at uh, another side, you swing it or a, lo a little bit closer, you put it down. Closing. Push it down. For grab, closing. Rising a little bit and the spinning lowering and unloading yeah you also can first rising a little bit more and turning to the bucket slowly drop it slowly drop it not to damage the bucket yeah and open for unloading. Turning a little bit. Also for, if you're loading to the rear side, you're reaching out. If you're loading to the front, you take it back, yeah. So see the three rotation of the arm, the angle, so you can load in, that's the dead angle. And another side, same angle, that's turning to see. Okay, before reaching the dead angle, slow down. Okay, that's already the maximum angle. Okay, so let's say you after you play, you don't want to disassemble this bucket, you rise and put in the bucket. Spinning. Put in the bucket. So for the painting protection, you also can try put some foam inside so the bucket will not damage the bucket. Yeah. And then you push a little bit backward and put it down inside the bucket. That's the way if you don't want to disassemble the clamshell bucket. Yeah, if you want to put the crane original position, you, you will have to disassemble this oil hose, disassemble this bucket and then take the arm back sitting in the original position. So after play, first rising the leg, then manually take the screw out, yeah, then after turning the leg to up position, then you take this arm back, not damaging the leg, yeah. Okay, leg 
in up position, in position, shrink arms back. Okay, in position. Now we can start driving again. <laughs> 